Hi boys and girls and everybody watching at home. It's Miss Rachel from the Bedford Hills Free Library and Pico and Ukulele. <laughs> so let's um, let's start by singing the hello song. Good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, how are you? Let's all up to how are you this special day? I'm so glad you came to play. Good morning, good morning, how are you? Hello, Pico, and hello, Miss Rachel, and hello. I'm so glad to see you here, and hello to the mommies, and hello to the daddies, and hello, everybody. We're so glad to see you here. How do you like that? I put down the ukulele because I didn't like the way it sounded, and then I got to do things with my hands. That was fun. Um, speaking of hands, let's do a little open check them to warm up. Everybody's favorite, I think. <laughs> open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, curl them, creep them, curl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. <gasps> open wide your little mouth. Ah, oh, but do not let them in. <laughs> And wiggle and fold them, wiggle and fold them. Give a little snap, snap, snap. Wiggle and fold them, wiggle and fold them. Give your head a tap, tap, tap. Creep them, grow them, creep them, grow them. Right down to your knees, knees, knees. Can you see his knees? Ah, tickle, 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 tickle. Everybody sneeze. Ha, choo. <laughs> God bless you. I always like that. The fake, the, uh, the fake sneezing is always funny. Although there was one boy once who really didn't like it at story time. I wonder if you're watching. Um, okay, so today we're talking about not gorillas and not ladies, but bears. And uh, there's so many wonderful books about brown bears, black bears, teddy bears, all kinds of bears. And today we're going to share this by one of my favorite authors, Kevin Henke's and it's called Old Bear. He did the pictures too, although oftentimes he writes books and his wife illustrates the pictures. Um, I think I've probably shared some of those with you as well. Kevin Henke's Old Bear. Now I'm gonna kind of give you a hint about what this book is about by asking you to look at the cover. Do you see the leaves are falling down and it's starting to even snow a little? Hmm. Old bear. Here he goes. Now we just see his backside. <laughs> Ooh, I can't turn the page. There we go. By the time old bear fell asleep for the winter, it was snowing hard. Do you guys know a special word for when a bear or some other animals, but lots of times we talk about bears, sleep all winter long? There's a fancy, fancy word. It starts like this. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hibernation. Soon he was dreaming. I wonder about hibernation dreams. They must go on forever. He dreamed that spring had come already and he was a cub again. The flowers were as big as trees and he took a nap in a giant pink crocus. Okay, so I'm going to hold the picture up. So you guys can see, can you spot the little bear as a, as a baby cub inside the pink flower? There he is. This must be a dream, right? There can never be a flower as big enough to hold a baby bear cub. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the colors here. Very spring-like. And then he dreamed that it was summer and that the sun was a daisy. Look at that. The sun was the daisy in the sky, and the leaves were butterflies. Oh, yeah. The leaves were butterflies. And when the sky clouded over and it started to rain, it rained blueberries. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of made those words up, so I wanted to check and see if I got it close. Part of the sky clouded over and it rained blueberries. That's a fun rain. 
that actually do another song if all the raindrops were something so lollipops and gumdrops if all the raindrops were blueberries and cherries and oh, what a rain that would be next he dreamed of autumn or fall everything was yellow and orange and brown even the birds and even the fish in the water can you see the birds and the fish birds in the sky fish in the water but they all are matching those autumn colors and where's bear do you see him hugging the tree trunk After that, he dreamed that uh, that winter was back and the world was covered in ice. It was night and the sky was blazing with stars of all different colors and the cold went on forever. Mm, pretty to imagine colorful stars. Old Bear slept and dreamed and dreamed and slept slept and dreamed and dreamed and slept and slept and dreamed and dreamed and slept. And when finally he woke up, it seemed to him that no time had passed since he had fallen asleep. So he yawned and stretched. He poked his head out of his den to see if it was still snowing. He blinked and he blinked again. Blink, 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 blink. Can you do that with your eyes? Blink, blink. <laughs> and when Old Bear walked out into the beautiful spring day, it took him a minute to realize that he wasn't dreaming. So that's a special thing about hibernation is it's more than just one night's sleep or two nights sleep. You sleep all winter long. So he slept through the change of the seasons he woke up and the world was spring. <laughs> I kind of wish that's how it would go for us. But I'm kind of looking forward to the snow that's coming soon. Um, but then I wish spring would come. Uh, here we go. He's out in the world. Isn't it beautiful? I think there's one last picture. Yep, there we see him going to explore spring. <laughs> old bear. So I have an old bear. Here he is, doo, doo, doo. Hi, Rose. and we're going to sing a song with my old bear, and uh, it's kind of like a peekaboo song, so it would be fun to use a scarf or something for hiding. I'll give you a moment to pause and go find that. Freeze the camera when I freeze. Okay, so I hope you're back with the, some kind of cloth or towel or even a t-shirt would work and we'll go like this where is old bear where is old bear here i am here i am what will you do this winter i will sleep the whole time go to sleep <laughs> let's try with pico Wanna play? So now Pico's gonna hide under the scarf. Where is Pico? Where is Pico? Here I am. Here I am. What will you do this winter? I'll stay busy swinging. Oh, that will keep you warm too if you're active. Swing, 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 swing. <laughs> that was fun. All right, let's invite. My other friend, Bovina. Some of you might know her from our other story time videos. If you do know Bovina, what kind of animal is she? If you don't know her, I'll give you a hint. She says, moo. Did you guess cow? Mm -hmm. Of course I'm a cow. Hi everybody, here I am. Well, I'm glad you're here, but now I'm gonna hide you. <laughs> okay. Whoop. Where's Bovina, where's Bovina? Here I am, here I am. What will you do this winter? I'll make you milk for cocoa. Mmm, hot cocoa. 
who go yum 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 how about you miss rachel oh i'll play okay let's see can i do this with one hand yes where's miss rachel where's miss rachel here i am here i am what will you do this winter Oh, I'll read books beside the fireplace. Cozy, cozy, cozy. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? Do you have your scarf? Go hide under there and then I'll sing some of the words and then you finish the words for what you will do this winter. Ready? Where is, where is, What will you do this winter? <laughs> well, that's where we'll end the song for now and we'll end our story time, but I hope you'll take the song with you and, and have fun with it playing with the other people in your house or the other animals in your house, alive or stuffed. Um, and it's always fun to make up songs, take familiar songs and, and sort of make them personal and um, that's good for your listening development and um, all kinds of things that you need to get ready to sing and read on your own. Okay, so should we sing the goodbye song everybody? Let's see, we can get Pico and Old Bear and let's add Bovina over here. Ready? Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Glad you came, hope you had fun. I'm glad you came. You don't usually come to this one. I know it's fun. I'll see you another day. We'll have more time to read and play. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. We're glad you came, all of us. <laughs> hope you had fun.